Hey guys, what's up? It's Overlord Tico here. So, I've actually been posting myself this question a lot, and it's actually a question that I've been asking myself, and some other people have actually kind of been asking me, and I've been looking back to some of my Yu Gi Oh! Forbidden Memories videos that I made in the past. Hopefully, some of y'all have been around for a long time. You know that I originally made a walkthrough, like a let's play walkthrough for Yu Gi Oh! Forbidden Memories, which is this game that's playing in the background. And towards the end of this back, the, this walkthrough, you guys can see that I actually get pretty lucky towards the end. Because in this game, whenever you face like characters like Settle the Third, or Haichin the Second, or you play Nightmare, the last like pretty much last people you play in the game, they have some pretty powerful cards. The most powerful cards you can get in this game are around 3,500 attack points. And the opponent, uh, the opponents, the most powerful cards they can get, they're like they can get all the ones that are 3,500. In which case, you can only get like one. You only you can only get Meteor Black Dragon, but they can get Meteor Black Dragon. They can get Perfect Loyalty the Great Moth. They can get the Gate Guardian, which is 3,750 attack, and they can get the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, which is 4,500 attack. And Seto the Third and Nightmare are have access to that card. And these people that you face at the end of the game, both of them, both of them, the ones that got at least the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, both of them got three of them. And there's like a 90% chance that anytime you play them, that they're going to play all three in a row, or at least they're going to play two, or at least the first turn that you fight against them, that there's like a 90% chance for sure that you're all, they're always going to bring out the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. And there's very few cards that people can get in this game. And it actually takes a long time to get the good cards that I'm, t that I'm speaking of, like cards like Mega Morph, like Blue Eyes White Dragon, Meteor Black Dragon. All those cards are they're really hard to get, and the odds that you're going to be able to get those cards within a short amount of time and be able to put them all in your hand in a 40 card deck and be able to beat this person, beat these people with 4,500 attack point Blue Eyes White Ultimate Dragon, they're like really slim. And if you notice, if you see these walkthrough. Then you'll notice that I got like a I got like a really good luck factor whenever it comes to playing video games, at least when it comes to playing uh, card games like this that have some kind of luck factor, which most of them do, because you still gotta draw the cards you need. And I got like a luck factor when it comes, at least in this game, when it comes to like what cards the other opponent plays, because most of the time, if whenever I play them, they never play their most powerful cards. They'll play powerful cards, but they will never be their most powerful their most powerful cards. So for me, it's kind of like a I think where I never have to worry about them playing like three blue eyes ultimate dragons in a row or playing like two blue eyes ultimate dragons and then a gate guardian. Most of the time when I play them, they're gonna play like a meteor black dragon, a perfectly ultimate great moth, or maybe one or two gate guardians, or one blue eyes ultimate dragon at the most. So apparently I'm a, I'm like a really lucky person. But you know, this is like the reason why I'm bringing this video. It's all about luck. And this is why I'm showing you this video. So where I'm, pl I'm playing the strongest people in the game. And you guys can see that the strongest people that you play in the game. And I play them all in a row. As I'm, the, the duels that I'm showing in this video, I play them all in a row. And these people didn't play any of their strongest cards. And now when you get towards the end of this game, it's weird because when you get towards the end of this game, you gotta face, I think, like five people in a row. You gotta beat Guardian Sebek. You gotta beat Guardian Naku. You gotta beat Hayishin the second, you gotta beat Seto the third, you gotta beat Dark Knight, and then you gotta beat Nightmare. That's six people in a row, unless you went ahead and faced Seto second after you beat the first two high mages. In which case, you're only gonna have to face four, because assuming you go back back in there, back inside the Hayishin's Dark Temple, you're automatically gonna fight Hayishin the second, then Seto the third, then Dark Knight, and then Nightmare. And you know the odds that you're gonna be able to face all four in a row and beat them all in a row, and that they're not gonna play their most powerful cards are like, like one percent. And for some reason, for, with me, it happens every single time. I don't need to have like the most powerful cards in this game, and somehow the opponent most of the time is always gonna play the weakest cards, it's, or at least not their strongest cards. So I, it always gives me like a fighting chance. So it's just weird, but apparently I'm I'm like I just, I'm just lucky whenever it comes to games and. Whenever it comes to like least video games, because there is one thing I'm actually pretty good in real life Yu-Gi-Oh, and I've also played all the types of Yu-Gi-Oh games that you know that exist right now, like Dungeon Dice Monsters, Duelist Roses, Castle Monster Coliseum, whatever any type of Yu-Gi-Oh game that's been made up till now, I, I've pretty much mastered it. But I really do like the original, like original Yu-Gi-Oh how you play it in real life, and I'm really really good at it. But whenever it comes to me actually playing. I actually suck at it because I got really bad luck and there, there will be times where I'm playing the game and I play against a person I was actually able to play against the national champions I played against the national champion from 2009 or 2010 I forget what his name is I think it's Adam Korn and I played against the national champion from 2006 or 2007 
and he's actually a guy that would use uh, lives in my city, or at least used to live in my city. He, he's from we're in Louisville, Kentucky, and he won the Nationals for Yu-Gi-Oh. And I actually got to play against him, and because uh, you know, I actually w did pretty good in the tournaments. Whenever you do pretty good, they just keep putting you in higher standings and higher ratings, higher tiers. You know, so you play against other good people, and they're really good. And whenever you you know you play against people that are good, it brings out the best in you. But there's still that luck factor. And think about it this way. My kind of luck is my kind of luck where I'm playing a good person and I know we're like pretty much even and I say the only way he will beat me is if he draws this exact card at this exact moment. Like one card that you is like limited to one he can only have one of and somehow he draws the card right at the moment when I think that. Or let's say like oh the only way I will lose is if I draw this one card that is with like my whole deck is useful in this situation but if I draw this one card that's left in my deck and like 25 cards left in my deck then this card would not be useful for me and I'll lose because I won't be able to block his attack and boom I draw the card that I I'm supposed to not draw you know th that kind of thing so I think it's something like since I'm so familiar and so confident about video games it gives me like a luck factor because if whenever you think I'm really positive you're always gonna have good luck but if, w if you're thinking like negative you're gonna have bad luck and in real life I always think negative because you always I always think worst case scenario because real life is real life you know, whenever it comes to me playing Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments and stuff in real life, I always take it very seriously because you know you always want to do well. So, anyways, uh, that's pretty much all I really wanted to uh, say in this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed those duels in the background. Hopefully, you see how I faced the set of the third and I faced uh, Nightmare, and they both played like, their most powerful cards. You know, they kind of sucked, and uh, you know that's pretty much all. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed this video. I'll be bringing you guys some more videos later today. So, anyways, catch you guys later and peace out.